of the Napleton Sports Desk with Sports Director Scott Lever. Belvedere's football program has had several different head coaches in recent years. They're on their fifth one now in 10 years. He's Tony Ambrosio, and he's no stranger to the Nick 10. David Greenberg has our Belvedere preview. It is once again a fresh start at Belvedere High School as the Bucks prepare for the upcoming 2021 on. season under first year head coach Tony Ambrosio. You know, I've spent a lot of time here and when the school called me and administration called me and they kind of made me an offer, I couldn't refuse and it was like, it was kind of like a homecoming of sorts. Ambrosio took over for Jim Morrow after just one season and he hopes to restore life into a Bucks program that hasn't seen the playoffs since 2015 and has a 7-44 and record over the last five seasons. I'd just say right off the bat, one of the challenges is just, and this is their third system in three years, and, you know, you can tell that they're having a little bit of issues, or, you know, picking it up, but that's understandable, and I think we're just going to keep getting better. Despite a shorter off-season camp, the players have already noticed a different intensity and level of focus than years prior. Amazing. The energy is different. The, we get a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaching. we got small numbers, but benefits us more. It's more of a family. You know, we... We practice family a lot and we preach it, and then you can really tell us a family that really care about us. Senior quarterback Justin Dennis will be leading the charge on offense and just enjoying being back with his teammates for the final time of his high school career. I love football. It's one of my favorite sports, so it's always good to just come out and play football. And on defense, defensive back Chris Booz will be playing this season with a chip on his shoulder. You know, we want it way more than them. It don't matter. They got more numbers. They may be bigger, but we want it way more. We got this small number. We working hard. For Ambrosio, it's not necessarily about wins and losses, but about taking pride in what they do. We want them to come out and say, you know what, the team played hard, they played physical, and they just came short on the scoreboard, or they were ahead on the scoreboard. But we just want to, we want something the community to be proud of. That was David Greenberg reporting. Tonight on the second half of our two-day previews, we'll drop in on the Boylan Titans. This Friday night, our weekly half-hour high school football show overtime returns. David and I will run down what to expect in all of our area conferences. Tim Bailey will join us with his thoughts on the Nick 10. It's this Friday night, live at 11 o'clock on Fox 39.